step. It's the bottom of the cupcake. So what I'm gonna do next then is I'm gonna put a little wavy line on the top. And this is gonna be where our cupcake's sticking out, right? So I'm probably gonna do chocolate and I'm gonna put some chocolate in there, some brown color. And then on top of that brown chocolate color, I'm gonna do all the icing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is next, I'm going to do the icing and I want it really fluffy, really, really fluffy and, and um, a lot of it. So I am gonna do this, watch what I do. I'm gonna do shapes that kind of look like rainbows, don't they? All the way around, rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. See that? Nice and fluffy all the way till I get to the bottom there. And it can be a little crooked. It doesn't have to be straight. My drawings are always a little crooked because I'm holding it. It doesn't have to be straight, okay? I am going to put that cherry right on the top here. And I'll show you how we're gonna shade these um, objects. We're gonna shade the bottom of the, the liner, the icing, the cherry, okay? I'll put a little stem coming out. Do a little leaf. And then inside this cupcake, I'm gonna do more twirls. So just to make it look fluffy, I'm gonna do little twirls. They kind of look like a, a number six, but I'm not gonna do a perfect six. I'm not gonna close that all the way. So the little swirls in the icing. Do you ever get a, a cupcake and has all those little swirls that the baker has made in it? So we're gonna put that with a darker color, okay? Lots of swirls. We are gonna put some ridges lines like this in the cupcake liner. Some of the kids that have done this before, they actually decorated their cupcake liner. So maybe they put stripes on the liner or they put polka dots. You don't have to do just a plain cupcake liner if you don't want, you can decorate that too. So I'm gonna paint this the color and then these ridges are gonna be a darker color. What I'm gonna do next is I am going to put a line Find my cupcake. So it looks like it's sitting on the table. Try to get it straight, okay, all the way across. I'm gonna paint this one color and this another color, whatever you want, whatever color you want. And then I'm just gonna show you that I'm gonna put a little bit of shading all around this cupcake. Okay, so it's gonna be a darker color all the way around. So it looks like it's sitting there. That icing's making a shadow just with a darker color. And then this wall in the background, I'm gonna give it some fun designs. So what I'm gonna do is I really like polka dots. I thought that would be fun and whimsical for a cupcake to be sitting in front of. So I am gonna do big polka dots in the background, okay? I might do black polka dots, black and white wall, maybe a pink, a pink counter. And then at the very end, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small brush once my icing has dried and I'm gonna just make little dabs of sprinkles on the top. Lots of little sprinkles, all different colors right at the top, okay? We're gonna do a lot of shading with this, but I wanted to show you the steps. So we're going to do the painting in gray first. When we go to do the painting, you're doing it in pencil right now. So you can either sketch it in in pencil, or if you're using paint, you could use a gray color, which is kind of the same color as the top of a pencil. And then we'll put the whole shape in and then we'll go back and work on the colors. Does that sound good? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my marker down. I am going to turn the page in this big sketchbook and I am gonna start the drawing again. So everyone ready? Okay. All right, if you have your painting supplies, what I have today is I have all the colors. So I have all the rainbow colors. I have gray, which I told you we're gonna start with. I put some brown on there because I'm gonna make chocolate and then black in case I wanted to outline it. I'm not too sure, maybe black polka dots. So if you're using markers or colored pencils or anything like that, you can use all the colors. I would love to know what you're using too. Are you using markers? Are you using crayons? Are you just using pencil? It's fun for me to see what you're using to do this because Anything you use, it always looks differently depending on what you're using. So I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. I have a small cup of water here for all the painters. A little bit of water, just a little bit. I never ever fill it up to the top in case I would spill it or just put a little bit down here. 
just need a little water to wash off my brushes. And then I am going to use a brush that's about this size. It's my favorite brush. Okay, not too big, not too small. I do have a big brush for the background when I need it. And then I have a little brush for those sprinkles that we're gonna put on at the end. See the difference? Little one, big one, okay? So on um, bigger one, this one's the biggest. <laughs> All right, so I also have a towel on my lap to wash off the brushes and dry it off. Okay. So you can hold the painting any way you want for this one. You can hold it horizontally or you can hold it vertically. So this is horizontally. You get a cupcake right in the middle, or you can hold it this way and get a taller cupcake. This is vertically. So I am going to hold it this way. Okay. I'm going to hold it vertically. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the shapes again in gray. So I'm going to take a dip in the gray. And if you don't remember from last time, do you know how to make gray? It's two colors that you use to mix together to make gray. If you know, you can chat with me. Does anyone know how to make gray? If you have two colors, you can mix them together. One's a really dark color and one's a really light color. Very good, Avery. Black and white, a little bit of black and more white than black, okay? So what we're gonna do is before I started, I mixed some gray, a little bit of black and a little bit of white. So we had it and I'm using gray because it's the same color as a pencil. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to do that square. So the square is gonna have rounded corners though. It's not gonna have straight corners. Just really lightly, you're going to put that square in. The gray is gonna get all covered up at the end, okay? It'll get all covered up depending on what color you make this cupcake bottom, but don't make points on the end, just make rounded bottoms. Like we had stuck it in the cupcake tin and baked it ourselves. It's gonna be a little smushy on the sides, So we want rounded corners, okay? Okay, our next step is to do that icing, okay? That we all love. No, our next step is the cake. We forgot the cake. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up above the square and just do like a little wavy line all the way to the end of the cupcake square there. Just a wavy line. Try to think in your head what kind of cupcake you're gonna have. Are you gonna have vanilla? Are you gonna have chocolate? Are you gonna have white? Are you gonna have strawberry? Whatever color you want, okay? This is a great, great piece of art to send to someone who's having a birthday, someone that you love and you want to send them some mail. It's so fun to get mail. Do you guys like getting mail? I love getting mail. I love getting mail, especially cards. It's so much fun. So this would be a great thing to draw for someone. Okay. So we put our cake in, we put our cupcake bottom in, and now we're going to do the icing. Remember the icing, the shape of the icing is rainbows. So we're going to start here. Just do little rainbows all the way around. You can make it as fluffy as you want. Rainbow, 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 until you reach the other side. Okay, little rainbows. It doesn't have to be perfect all the way around because it's icing, okay? You could have more on one side than the other. Okay, rainbows all the way around. Good job, good job, good job, good job. I'm gonna put the cherry on the side. If you want the cherry on the top, you can put the cherry on the top. I could show you what that's gonna look like. Cherry right on the top there. It's gonna be a circle. And I just took my paintbrush, made a point, and then swirled it around. There you go. Really gently with a really light touch, just put a little line for your stem. And you could put a little leaf just like that on your cherry. It's like a Sunday cupcake. It is a cupcake and a Sunday in one. That sounds delicious. Okay, all right. Next we're gonna do the ridges on the cupcake liner, okay? So we're just gonna make some lines. I think I'm gonna be able to fit five in there. Just depends how big or how small you made it, how big your paper is. Okay, five lines. If you can't fit five, you can only fit three, that's fine. Okay, good job. Really lightly, we're gonna put swirls inside that icing. 
So you're gonna hold your paintbrush if you're painting really lightly, okay, really light. You don't wanna hold it too strong because you'll get a really thick line. You just want a little light touch and just make swirls in there, okay? Just swirl your paintbrush around, just like that. And think about what color you wanna do for your icing. Are you gonna make it vanilla? Are you gonna make it pink? Are you gonna make it, which would be strawberry? You're gonna make it lemon? Is it gonna be yellow? Are you gonna make it blueberry? Is it gonna be blue? So no matter what color you use, we're gonna shade it with a little bit of a different color. Okay, so that's what those swirls are on there for. It's reminding you. Take a dip in my gray again, and I'm gonna put that line around the back of the cupcake. So it looks like it's sitting on a counter, waiting for me. Okay, sitting there, just waiting for me to unwrap it. Sitting on that counter. So we're gonna paint the counter color. We're gonna put a little bit of shading underneath our cupcake. So I'm just taking gray really, really lightly, putting it under my cupcake, just like that. And whatever color I paint my counter, I'll just do this, a darker color. Okay, is everyone doing good? And now I'm gonna put some polka dots in the background. You can come up with whatever design you want for your wall. So pretend that you're painting your wall behind the cupcake, you could do whatever you want. It doesn't have to be polka dots. You probably have some really creative ideas for what you want in the back of your cupcake. I would love to hear them. What would you put in the back of your cupcake wall if you had a wall in your house or maybe in your ice cream parlor? or in your bakery shop, and you can paint it whatever color you want, what would you paint it? I'm gonna do mine black and white. I'm gonna do a white wall and do some black polka dots, but you can do whatever color you want. So I would love to hear what you decorate. I can't wait to see these and see what colors you're gonna pick. Okay. All right, so now we're gonna start with the colors. I'm gonna wash off my brush. Really good, I have to reach over here for my water. Put this down really quick this off so you want to when you wash your paintbrush you just want to swirl it around really gently if you don't want to break those bristles okay and then dry it off on your towel so it doesn't drip and then we're gonna go and we are gonna paint the cupcake bottom so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do a blue cupcake bottom I'm gonna do a dark blue and then these lines these ridges here okay I'm gonna paint it a lighter blue. So I do darker and then move to lighter. So I wanna show you what it looks like. If you wanna watch me first, you can watch me and then you can do it. I'm gonna go over the gray line, over the gray line, all the way around, all the way under, right there. And then I'm gonna start painting my cupcake bottom up and down, up and down, okay? Just like this. You see? Can everyone see me? I just wanna show you how we're gonna shade this. Okay, so up and down, paint this whole thing, whatever color you want. It doesn't have to be blue, but whatever color you're using, if you want to make a lighter color, I made a lighter blue that I'm gonna paint the ridges, you would just mix that color with the white. So if you're using, let's say purple, you would just take a little bit of the purple and white to make a light lavender color. Cause that is what these ridges are gonna be. So I wanna cover all of this gray that we made first. Okay. So I painted it dark blue. And the only thing that's sticking out is some of the ridges. What I'm gonna do next is I am going to take my paintbrush and dip it in light blue. So I made light blue, a little bit of blue and white. And I am going to take my light blue and just put it right there in the ridges, okay? Just to make it look like there's like some indentations in the cupcake wrapper. So let me dip some light blue, okay? 
Thank you, Belinda. You can straighten that out. It doesn't have to be like my mind's a little crooked because I'm holding it. Okay, you can just blend that together. So the light blue and the dark blue blend together just a little bit. And I might need some more dark blue on here. I can see some empty spaces. So just go back and paint over that. What colors are you using? What colors are everyone using? You know, when you have a cupcake, it has all those little ridges in the um, cupcake liner. That's what you want to put in here. Okay. And you would just mix whatever color you used with a lighter color. Or you can do the opposite too. You could do a light color and put the dark color on the top. It would be a lot easier if this was laying down, be easier to paint. So I'm sure yours looks so spectacular. Okay. Once you get that cupcake bottom painted, you're gonna wash off your brush. Every time you change colors, you wanna wash off your brush and dry it off. Wash it off, dry it off. And then I'm gonna have a chocolate cupcake. So I wonder what cupcake choices you guys are gonna have. I wonder who is gonna pick chocolate. Anyone picking chocolate? Does anyone like chocolate cupcakes? And what I'm gonna do is this section right here is going to be the chocolate gonna put icing on top of that okay chocolate sticking out just a little bit mmm I haven't had a cupcake in a really long time this looks good this looks really good this looks like a big cupcake looks like enough for my whole family I'm gonna wash off my brush dry it off okay those are my paint brushes making that noise Wash it off and dry it off. Okay, and we're gonna do the first layer of the icing. Now, I think I'm gonna do strawberry icing because that sounds really good to me right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some, a little bit darker than, um, so strawberry icing is usually pink, but I'm gonna do darker and then put some light in it. So I'm gonna do a really, really dark pink and then I'm gonna put a lot of light pink on top of it. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is I have like this reddish pink on my plate. So at first it's gonna be really bright. See it? It's like strawberry color, but then I'm gonna make it light pink. So I just wanna put that dark pink on first. I'm gonna go around all those rainbows first. Do all the rainbows. Do those little swirls. You can go over those. And then you're gonna paint that whole thing in. Paint it all in, nice and fluffy. Nice and fluffy. Pink. You don't have to do pink. You can do white. You can do, well, you can do whatever color you want. Whatever color you want. Okay. So I'm gonna do strawberry icing. My sample, I did white icing. I did lots of white icing. So I filled it in all with a dark, dark pink. So I'm gonna do the darker color first, and then I'm gonna go back and put a lighter color on top of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the pink, the pink is still on my brush, and I'm gonna dip it right in the white. So I have white right on my plate, and the pink, the dark pink and the white are gonna mix to make a light pink. So watch what I'm gonna do. I am gonna go around those rainbows, making a light pink for me. A light pink, it's still wet, so that's why it's blending for me. If it dried, you can just put more of the dark pink on, okay? And then you can just start blending it. So it's a light pink and a dark pink. So some of the sections are gonna be dark pink and some are gonna be light pink. If you are using a different color, you'll do the same thing. You'll put the dark color on first, and then before it dries, you're gonna put the lighter color. So I used white, okay? And I think white is really nice with any of these colors. Any color you use, it'll blend if it's still wet, but you'll still see that color that you want your icing to be, but it'll make it look nice and fluffy, okay? And I'm just, watch my paintbrush. I'm just swirling it around like in a circular motion. So I can see those little swirl marks that we made at the beginning. 
I can see them underneath, but now I covered it with a dark color, like a dark pink. And then I went back when the paint was still wet and swirled it around with white. So actually pretend like you're, you're decorating a cupcake. Okay. And just swirl your paintbrush around and the dark pink and the light pink will blend together. So whatever color you're using, that white will mix with it and blend together. I am going to go up to the cherry. I am going to put bright red up here on the cherry. I'm going to go around that gray that we made. I love how the red looks against the background and against the cupcake. Okay. With the red still on my paintbrush, I'm going to dip it in the white. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of lighter red, it might turn pink, on my cherry. Okay. So a little swirl of it. So the outside's really dark, dark red. And then there's like a little swirl of a lighter color. So it looks, sorry guys, my hair keeps going to my face. Um, it looks like it's shaded just a little bit. Okay, it's like the light shining on it. See that? So you paint it dark red first and then keep the red on your brush, dip it in the white and then brush a little bit on it and you'll get a little bit of shading. I'm gonna wash that brush off really gently, dry it off. And I forgot to put green on my plate. So I'm going to make some green. Does anyone remember how to make green for my leaf on the cherry? How do you make green? Does anyone know? Two colors. I wonder what two colors I could use to make green. Hmm. What two colors? Anyone know? Blue and what else? What two colors could I mix together? I'll give you a hint. Blue and what other color would I use to make green? Does anyone know? A little bit of blue here. All right, I'm gonna tell you. A little bit of yellow. So you mix a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow and you get green. Blue and yellow make green. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put a little green leaf here, right there. And then when I get to the black, I'll put a little stem there. Or if I go back to the brown with my small brush, I'll put that stem back on, okay? Because I need that small brush, oh, for the sprinkles. Okay, wash off my brush, dry it off. I am going to paint the bottom of my cupcake, the counter where it's sitting. I used pink, I used blue, I used red. So I think that it would be really pretty to have a purple counter. You can do whatever color you want for the purple. I am going to do the dark purple in the shadow right here. Okay, so it's gonna make a shadow on the counter. So I'm gonna start with my darkest color first. It's gonna be dark purple. And then all the rest is gonna be light purple. Okay, so dark purple there. I have purple on my brush, just purple. And now I'm gonna dip it in the white because that's how you make it lighter. So I have purple and white, and the rest of the counter is gonna be like a light lavender color. So I'll keep that shading under the cupcake, the darkest part, and then I'll just mix that purple with a little bit of white, and it'll get a nice pretty lavender color. So whatever color you decide to use, just mix it with a little bit of white, or just make it a little bit lighter around your cupcake. Okay, so underneath the cupcake should be the darkest. And if you're using crayons or markers, same thing. Underneath the cupcake should be the darkest and then the rest should be a little lighter. So it's hard for me to paint right here because my fingers are there. Move over fingers. I need to show them how to paint the counter. Okay, so you see right under the cupcake is the darkest where we put that gray. It's a nice little shadow. So it looks like it's sitting there. Okay, and then I mixed it with a little bit of white and all of that was a lighter color. So you have a light colored background, a light colored counter and then a shadow underneath. Okay, and you might wanna just blend it in just a little bit. You can go all the way to the bottom and all the way to the sides if you want. I'm gonna wash off my brush. I am going to do black polka dots in the bottom in the background because I think it's gonna look really cool. Look really whimsical. I'll show you. Like playful. Whimsical means playful. So I think it'll look really playful with these 
black polka dots in the background. Doesn't black look cool? With all these like really pastel colors that we use so far, because we blended a lot of our sections, the bottom, the icing, the cherry with white. So the colors got really light. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm putting this big bold color in the background. So watch the way I do the black because black's really powerful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all around the outside first, all around. And then I'll go in, I'll keep circling it in, circling it in, and there's still some sections that are open. And then I'll just paint the rest of it in, okay? Another way to do it, with the black, whenever you have a dark color and you want to be really careful, you could take a point in the middle and swirl outwards. Just swirl that paintbrush around when you get to the outside. So that gray circle that we made, you just want to fill that in. Oops. Okay. Two more. I have two more. I don't know how big your papers are, how many polka dots you're putting in the background, or if you're doing polka dots, you might be doing something really cool in the background. Maybe you're doing butterflies. Maybe you're doing, hmm, maybe you're doing a whole bunch of the cherries in the background. I wonder what's on your wall. Maybe you're doing ice cream cones, something really cool. Okay, so I have a big polka dotted background there. All right, is everyone good? You could always paint the wall. You don't have to leave it white. You could do another color too whatever color you want. Okay, this would look cool, like a yellow background, green background, whatever color you want. I might come back to the black later because I want to show you what it looks like with outlining it, just to see if that's something that you want to do. I'm going to put this brush down because what I'm going to do is do the sprinkles. So I'm going to switch to that small paintbrush that we had. The one I showed you at the beginning, beginning, let me dry this off. Okay, dry it off. It's a cold day today, guys, isn't it outside? Very, very cold. Dry this off, even the water in my paintbrushes is cold. Okay, so tiny paintbrush, and then I'm gonna pick whatever colors that I think should be for my sprinkles. So let's see what I have on my paint plate. I haven't used orange yet, see the orange? I haven't used yellow yet, and I think that'll show up on the pink. Um, the red would look cool on top of the pink. Um, I think I might add some white sprinkles too, maybe some blue. What do you think? A whole bunch of different ones. So I'm going to start with the darkest color. I'm going to do red first. It's my brightest. And I'm just going to really lightly. So hold your paintbrush lightly. Just put little dabs on the top, just at the top of my cupcakes. So when you put the sprinkles on, it goes right on the top. Every time you change colors, you're gonna wash off that brush and dry it off, okay? Dry it off. Orange. So I did red, I did orange. Um, let's do some white. The white will really, just little dots of white. Can you see that? Hoping you can see it. How about we do a darker color? How about I do, how about I do some purple on the top? Okay, just some purple sprinkles. So you can see that if you fall down the side. Some purple sprinkles really lightly though. It can be little dots or little dashes, really lightly with the tip of your brush. Okay, and then that small brush, remember I said we're gonna use that for the stem, for the cherry. We put a little line up there, so it could be a brown stem or a black stem. So I have some brown on my plate from the chocolate, so I'm just gonna do a little line, really lightly coming off the top, because I have like a Sunday cupcake. Now, if you wanna outline your, your um, painting, you can take your time and go around it with white or with black. I I want to show you what it would look like though, so you know before you do it. You can always outline in the gray too if you want, but if you wanted to outline it, this is what it would look like. Go around the bottom really lightly, around those corners, okay, nice and straight, 
you can go around the icing. Now, don't you don't have to do this, only if you want to. Some people really like to outline their drawings, but you don't have to, okay? Just makes it pop a little more, and then you could put the line. I didn't outline everything, just some of it, just to clean up my lines just a little bit. Okay, so I didn't outline anything in here and here, but what I might do is I might switch to white now. So around the outside was black, and now on the inside, I'm gonna do white outlines. So I washed off my brush to do arm exercises. My painting book's heavy. Okay, let's lift this up again. I am going to do white for the inside. So I'm gonna take my small paintbrush, and I'm gonna do the swirls again. Just take a little dip, some white and swirl it around. Make those number sixes, but don't make them a perfect number six. Don't close the six all the way. Just a little swirl like you would do for a six. And then I might put some of those lines down here. This time it's just white, really lightly. And then I might put some white at the bottom of the icing, little swirls. Okay, and then you can put a little white highlight up there for your cherry. And of course, you can always, always decorate the bottom of the counter. Some little polka dots or some little dashes because you have it all colored and you have it all decorated. So you can just put like whatever you want on the background and really have fun with this. So this is a great I think this is a great thing to do for someone's birthday. To send this, you could put a little note on it. You could put a note on the wrapper. You could put a little note down here on the counter. Okay, you can write happy birthday around the top. This is anything, like you can send this in the mail to someone you love and say, oh, I was thinking of you. I made you a cake, cause you did. So um, what I want you to do then when you're all done is you're gonna sign it. So I take my small brush, and I'll do it right over here. I'll put a little heart, little heart. And then I'll take a dip in the black and I will put my name. And you could put your name or your initials. A lot of artists just use their initials and you sign your painting, okay? Cause that shows that you were the artist who did this painting. So I hope everyone had fun today doing their cupcake drawing. And I really hope that you share them with me. So ask your parents. I um, will show you this again at Rowie Ebert Art, and that's on Facebook and Instagram. And I could share them, your, your drawings, with Capital Blue Cross Connect. And they'll be able to see what you did today. And we're so thankful, Capital Blue Connect Health and Wellness Center, for allowing us to do this program. It's just awesome. And I'll be here next week again at four o'clock. So if you want to join me, you can look on my Facebook page for what the drawing is next week. So um, we'll have a really good time and we'll have fun. And let me know what you're using to paint. Are you using paint? Are you using markers? Using watercolor, pen? Um, just show me what you're using to paint. And I can't wait to see all these colors. What colors have some of you used today? You want to just tell me before we turn off? Have you, you, are you still working on it? Because you don't have to rush to do the painting. You can always take your time. And then after this drawing or, um, turns off the drawing lesson, you can work on it and then come back to it later. So, um, I would love to see what colors you're using. If you're using all pastels or if you really changed it up. And I hope you had a really good time today. So happy baking. Hope you're having fun with the cupcakes. And I will see you all next week. Have a great day. Stay warm. Bye. And thanks for joining me, everyone.